So this is the image I'm going to use. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the background in from our image or layer. So now make sure to select the background layer and then left click here and then select the float select tool. And now left click on the white background. So here it is. And now as you can see, there is some areas here. I'm just going to click on refine and then click apply. So here it is, as you can see, it selected only the white background and removed the areas inside here of the banana. So now I'm just going to press delete on my keyboard. So here it is. And now go to pixel selection and then deselect. And now I'm going to create a new fill layer, go to pixel and then select new fill layer. So here you can change the fill layer color. I'm going to leave it to white. I'm going to place it under the banana. Now select the banana layer, select the mode tool. I'm going to reduce a little bit the size here like this. Let's place it here. And now let's select the artistic tool, left click, select artistic text tool, left click and now type your text. Control A to select all text. I'm going to change the font to Anton, double click. And for the size, I'm going to try with 250. I'm going to increase to 300. So I think 300 is okay. And now let's select the move tool. And now I'm going to adjust it here like this. So I'm going to place it here like this. And now go to vector and then select new warp group. And then select this one here, the quad. It will give us four handles to modify. So now I'm going to bring this handle down here like this. And then bring this one down here. Make sure to cover the whole object. For example, for us, it's the banana. I'm going to bring up this one and then bring up this one here. And now you can select, for example, this line here. I'm going to move it down. And then I'm going to select the top one here and then move it down as well. So now you can still, for example, adjust. So control Z to undo if you made a mistake. Make sure to select this node here. Now I'm going to move it up a little bit. So I think I'm going to leave it here. And now we need to create a selection here from the text. So if I open this warp group here, this one here, it's the warp text. And now in order to make selection here from this text here, the warped one, and now hold the control key down and then left click here on the in this image here of the warp group. So here it is. And now we don't need this text anymore. So I'm just going to delete it, the warp group and the text. So here it is. Now we just have the banana layer. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer here, the banana layer, right click and then duplicate. So for now, I'm going to hide the bottom one. Select the top one, this one here, the one visible, and then click on this icon here to create a mask layer from the selection. So as you can see, it kept only the text here from the banana layer. And now I'm just going to remove the selection, go to pixel selection and then deselect. And now let's reveal our bottom layer, the one, the original one. So here it is. Now I'm going to add the mask layer to it. So on the mask layer, the black represents transparency and the white opacity. So now in order to remove the parts here of the banana here, I'm just going to use the paintbrush tool with the black color. So left click, select the paintbrush tool. So I'm going to switch here the colors here. I'm going to left click here. I want the wheel. So here it is. Select the black color. Let's go to the brush panel here going to left click so for example i will try the basic one so a round brush i'm going to select this one here i'm going to increase the size i'm going to leave all these settings as they are now let's go back to the layers tab make sure to select the mask layer here on this layer this one here make sure to select the mask so now if i hover over this text here it will give you a preview where you're going to paint so now for example i'm going to paint here so here it is in here and now I just want so here I made a mistake control Z I'm going to paint over this one here so here it is now I'm going to paint here so here it is now let's select the top layer so now I'm just going to add this light shadow here so left click on the shape tool here let's select the ellipse tool so now I'm just going to draw slight shape here like this 
Now I'm going to change the color. The color is white. So I'm going to change it to black. And now let's add the life filter. So I'm going to left click here. Let's add the Gaussian blur. And now I'm just going to increase the radius. Now let's select the whole layer. Select the layer on the left, not the mask. Select the move tool. Cancel, for example. Change the opacity. Reduce the opacity. Like this. So here it is. 